Jesus, the night before he went to the cross, gathered with his apostles in the upper room. At the end of chapter 13 of the Gospel of John, where we have the record of this gathering, Jesus forewarned his disciples that he would leave them soon. That really caused them to be disturbed. In order to calm their fears, he made a great promise to them in John chapter 14, verses 1 through 3. This is what he said. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. Now, Jesus was referring here to a future coming of his, and uh, we are convinced that he's talking here about his coming to rapture the church from the earth. How do we know that he's referring here to his coming to rapture the church instead of his second coming after the end of the Great Tribulation? Well, for one thing, he indicates here that when he comes, he will receive uh, the believers unto himself. Notice, in this coming, he's not coming uh, uh, to uh, uh, come down to where they are and live where they are. In other words, he's not the only one that's going to be moving here. He's going to be removing them from where they are to be where he is. And so he says here, Uh, I will come again and receive you unto myself. And then notice the purpose of this coming. It's a purpose clause that where I am, there you may be also. He's saying here, the whole purpose of my coming, in this particular coming I'm referring to, is so that you can be where I am, not so that I can be where you are. So he's not saying, I'm going to, in this coming, come so I can live where you are on the face of the earth. But I'm going to come in this coming so that you can be where I am, namely in the Father's house. And the very fact that he ties this promise in with the concept that he's going to be preparing dwelling places for them in the Father's house in heaven strongly infers that when he receives them to himself, he's going to take them back to live with him in those dwelling places in the Father's house in heaven. This is definitely a rapture passage. 